I don't like it. So if you don't like golf carts, don't come here. Otherwise, if you have them, you're welcome here. <laughs> to a new video. It's July 24th, 2020. We used to make videos a lot and now we don't. So a lot to unpack, a lot has happened. We are in our, still, still with him. <laughs> so we got married 2018 and I got this new vehicle, traded in the Camaro for a terrain. 2018 and then I didn't like the color so I traded it for a lighter silver 2019 terrain so that's what we're in right now and a new addition to the family has happened this is sassy Where's sassy <laughs> the sassy is a miniature pincher chihuahua mix and we rescued her from CARES a rescue facility in Leduc and we got her what seven months ago so she's more like 10 last year yeah we got her in November it's July um, she's a pretty crazy dog pretty crazy um, she doesn't like strangers but she is cute. She's so cute. It says she's a cute. She's a little princess. And you sassy little princess. <laughs> okay. And then our other new addition, if you can see out the window, is a trailer. Jayco 195RB. Um, it is a couple's camper. <laughs> Um, we'll do a tour of that later, but um, we purchased it at the end of the season last summer and we kept it stored at, at the dealership facility during the winter and we were lucky enough that we had that because it's the only way that we were going to be taking vacations this summer since it's 2020 summer of COVID. So luckily we have that. We're on our way to Mink Lake. It's not a long weekend or anything, so we plan to go camping fairly close to the city. So we're only, we just left, and <laughs> how far are we? We're 45 kilometers away. We're gonna arrive in about half an hour. We're gonna check out Mink Lake and see how this campground is. I think it's called um, Mink Lake RV resort or something. There's an actual lake there and a beach. Um, we haven't had the best weather lately. It's been pretty rainy and like not very warm. It's about 20 degrees right now and there's some clouds, but it's actually pretty humid so it feels warm be there soon and we'll check out this campground and see what it has to offer and what the campsites are like. Stay tuned. Oh hi there. Welcome to the Mink Lake campsite. We've actually decided to go outside for the first time and actually check this place out. Sassy's just the local um, John Deere tractor inspector. She's <laughs> approving. Come on, come on. Good, good job, sir. Um, smells a little bit funny. It smells like a real campground. <laughs> yeah. As if people burn wood for a camp. Did I say campground? I meant campfire. It smells like campfire. And, uh, it's peaceful now, but there's quite a bit of activity always going on here. Um, a lot of people huffing around in those tractors and golf carts they will uh they certainly get your attention um but for the most part everyone's left this alone it's quite scenic it's nice and peaceful right now um, and we're about to check out the lake itself the namesake of this campsite and uh we'll see how we go 
There's a park. So it's about 20 degrees, 21 degrees, cloudy. You know, for for it's okay. <laughs> for a lake in the middle of nowhere, it's not bad to to spend a day. I mean, you can't really sit there and sunbeg, I guess. But it's it is what it sure is. Sure, you could. I mean, yeah. not today, but if it was hot out, you could. Yeah, I would say that really this beach is the only way in or out of the entrance. Like in or out, in or out, in. Or out. This beach is the only way in or out of the water, I would say. Um, it looks like there's a couple ways you could get on. Or maybe across the river, but from here... Yeah. We we're going to throw the dog in the, in the water and see how she reacts. <laughs> but we would have to walk through, I don't know, whatever that grass stuff in the water is yeah. called to bypass the beach, which she's not allowed on, so. <laughs> Just having the most fun ever. So there's not a ton to do at Mink Lake. It's a very small lake. So we're just hanging out at our own campsite. We're having some drinks. Drinks. <laughs> so we had Bubba mugs earlier because you're not allowed alcohol on the beach. So we had to hide our I'm alcohol. Not, and I'm not advertising what I'm drinking. This is very <laughs> embarrassing. So I'm having this uh, raspberry rosé. It's supposed to be like wine in a can, but honestly, it doesn't really taste that much like wine to me. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's vodka, soda, whatever. So it's only really good if you're already drinking and then you have it. Otherwise, um, it's a waste of time. <laughs> so 4.5% alcohol but it's only 90 calories. So, whatever. It's, uh, I had it, so I brought it. And the dog's here. <laughs> she's having a great time. She's actually being really well behaved and she's not great with uh, strangers or, you know, even people she knows <laughs> in general. But she's having a great time. She's having a baby. Hey, sassy. Woo. <gasps> All right, everybody knows you're drinking coconut. I have no, I have no shame. <laughs> we'll go over our campsite here. So we came in uh, just over over here, and then we're kind of by ourselves in our in our campground, and we found out that we had to kind of park sideways when we got in. So we just parked the car sort of perpendicular so that we have some privacy uh, from the tent people. The car's there, the trailer's there, and then we have our awning out, and then our propane fire pit, and then the table's provided and we brought a little TV tray from home so that we could put things on there and cook there if we wanted. And then we've put Sassy's little um, lawn stake. I guess anyone who has a dog probably knows about these. You just screw these into the ground and then there's a leash part and then you can let your dog sort of run wild, but Sassy runs a bit too wild with that thing, so we've got her on her normal leash. It's nice. Um, you certainly got some distance between other sites. Um, like it's a, it's, it feels a bit more 
Um, We're definitely more out by ourselves than yeah. than the rest of the campground. Yeah, yeah. So I don't I don't know whether it's better to have like trailer after trailer after trailer after trailer. Um, you certainly have your own space here, but there's also more people wandering around trying to get to where they're going. Um, but it's it's nice. I feel like. Um, no one is going to invade us, but we do have the principal's office right behind us, um, so we could be sent there at any time for being in trouble. <laughs> um, so the the house of the owners of the campground, um, that's their house that they live in. So <laughs> yeah, but I mean, as long as we follow the rules of dogs on leashes and no loud music, I think. No drinking? I don't know what it is. No, we're allowed to drink on our campsite. On our we're not allowed to drink on the beach. That's, that's, okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. But, yeah. So, that's nice. Um, I think you covered everything. Good. So, something I do want to mention. Oh, 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 sassy. Oh, sassy. Oh, sassy. Oh, she, got, she gets surprised by people. Hey, come back here. See, Dave lies about the surprise she just wants to go crazy over everybody who walks by and then Dave goes oh you surprised her but really she's crazy she was surprised <laughs> I'm not struggling to keep her under control at all <laughs> she's a, she's a... so something I do want to talk about at this campsite is the golf carts that drive by towing things. Um, it hasn't happened in a while, like since we've been out here, but all afternoon and all last night, golf carts and those passing John, John Deere tractors. Yeah, passing by our site, towing something, making a lot of noise, sometimes every five minutes. And it's just, it's pretty annoying, especially when you have a crazy dog that wants to chase them. Um, but even then, like if we didn't have her <laughs> chasing them, like it's like, what is that? Where are you going? Why? 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 Tell me. I don't know if I'll care about the answer, but <laughs> but I don't like it. So if you don't like golf carts, don't come here. Otherwise, if you have them, you're welcome here. <laughs> See, that's an example of one of these tractors always going by making noise and when you have a dog that chases noise, that is a problem. Yeah, it certainly feels like, um, um, after reading the reviews of this place, uh, I would say that the majority of sites here are taken up by people that have seasonal passes, which means they just leave their trailer or whatever, they're set up here the entire time. Um, and that's probably the reason why there's so many golf carts, because they just park their stuff, um, and that's how they get around the particular site. Um, but it, it certainly feels like there aren't a lot of tourists in this place. Lakes around Edmonton, like that are close by, people do get permanent sites. And I called so many places to try to find campgrounds for us um, in short notice. And there was plenty of places that only had seasonal um, sites. And so you would have had to purchase it. So this year is tricky because everything was closed in March, so I don't know when you would have booked this. But they'll, they'll be booking between May and September, maybe? You pay like an entire price for a site for the entire summer. Um, so that's usually like Wabaman, like Alberta Beach. Alberta Beach was really hard to get. And I found one place that was booking, but I did, it, the, all they had available was something I didn't want. So whatever, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's hard to get campgrounds like close by Edmonton just because of the seasonal sites that, that people take up all at the beginning of the year, um, especially provincial sites. So if you're ever looking for a place on short notice, um, I did book this one fairly easily. They didn't require a deposit, um, and um, if you need hookups, they don't have sewer, but they have power and water. Um, so we're we're like by this maintenance office, and so that's basically what our hookups are. So I don't, I'm not sure about the rest of the campground, but we had to hook up here. 
So that's why we had to come sort of sideways into the lot. Just to give you an idea of the site, this is what it looks like. And then across the street sort of here is a tent no hookups area. So we do have a lot more trees than the other sites around here. One other thing that I should mention about this campground is that they have a gas tank. They have a gas tank. <laughs> they have a gas station. They will fill your propane. And they also have a store that's pretty well equipped with snacks, liquor, drinks, things like that. at our campsite at night so you can see some of the atmosphere that we get going with um, the lights and everything and Dave's about to light our fire so there's our awning with the LED light strip um, you basically just keep sparking it until it ignites oh one time, unusual. <laughs> Usually you have to do it a couple times. Sassy, That's what are you doing? Now, and then we can run it at low or at high. We'll just keep it on low. It's, it's for atmosphere, not for heat. If you needed heat, then you, I would turn it off. Ah, perfect. Earlier, Dave had the thrill of <laughs> a man coming and asking about our setup and what we used to pull and how we did it. And uh, he had all the answers. Mm -hmm. I know, like, sometimes it's the smaller setups that probably get the most attention. Because anyone can buy a big truck and a big trailer and drive them off with that. And this guy um, was looking for something to pair to what looked like a Jeep Grand Cherokee. And I was very proud of the fact that I knew all of the specs for, you know, our vehicle and the trailer. And he was impressed, and I said, yeah, he's going to have dozens of options when it comes to whatever he wants to pair it up to. To, to pull something with, with something like this, it's like you don't know what your options are because it is a smaller towing and capacity. The, and the guy was like, that's an SUV, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah. No, no, nah, mate. It's a spaceship. <laughs> well, I hope he doesn't think it's a van because <laughs> I'll kill myself yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Certainly not a truck. Oh, yeah, that was cool. It was a, it's a highlight of my trip so far. Oh, good, good campsite popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> I made it myself. <laughs> oh, what a well-behaved dog! <laughs> so well-behaved, just sitting. Oh, that didn't last long. Sassy. She's like well-behaved. Oh, so you will behave. <laughs> she just can't help herself. She's very tired and grumpy. Okay, so before I was talking about the golf carts and I never got to prove it, but finally <laughs> there's one this way. So they're towing this little thing and it makes a lot of noise when they pass by. And I don't know what that is and I never figured it out, but this is what we were talking about before. We'll see where they're going. Maybe we'll figure it out. I wonder if there's a, a special name for the for the seasonal people or the ones that always have a space. If they're called like minkers, minkers. <laughs> okay, they're going to somewhere. I can't go. I don't think. <laughs> Start pulling the trailer over this bridge. Is it a bridge? Okay, they're like lowering boats down <laughs> in there. Oh, I, I wonder if that's a spot that's for sale. There's a for sale sign. Yeah. And then tons and tons of abandoned. Oh, this is just field. a dead end. Uh oh, we're gonna oh. have to turn around. Oh, thank God. 
a small trailer. <laughs> if you decide to go it, off on a, uh, yeah, on a tangent and follow a golf cart, you may find yourself in a dead end. about the convenience store so that's right when you come in it's the same as where you check in to the front office so they had everything there well not everything obviously but they had a lot of stuff if you forgot to bring food and booze it's all there all right let's get out of here that was mink lake Mink Lake RV Resort. Turn left. Thanks for being here with us. <laughs>